Jansen Inshore Tackle. If you're after a giant rooster fish, tackle busting snapper, or trophy dorado from shore, Jansen has the best selection of surf fishing gear for the traveling angler from unique lure designs to multiple piece travel rods. And Stephen Jansen's art, now available on a full line of UV protective shirts that will keep you cool during the toughest battle. You can check them out online at jansen.mx or visit any of their retail stores in Los Cabos. Jansen, saltwater performance gear and apparel since 1996. Today, the bait fish would ride on shore and therefore I chose to start with a slow retrieve lure like my killer pop. I like to retrieve the popper with short pulls to make it spray water, but maintaining it close to the bait ball. Got him! Got that on the popper. Feels like a jack. Hey, buddy. Nice fish. we go. First one of the day. Killer pop in a green mullet color. Yeah, that's what you try to do is get it really close and where the roosters are attacking the mullet because they're not alone. You'll see one, but it's two or three with them. And get that popper in there or any lure you may be fishing and, and hopefully they'll make a mistake and grab it. Cool, really cool. The poppers were producing mainly jacks, but the roosters didn't seem to be interested in these slow moving lures. I changed to a ballyhoo, which is a fast retrieve pencil popper, but I had no strikes with that lure either. Conditions constantly change, and with that, the feeding patterns as well. I could see the roosters work the bait, but it was just a matter of finding the right lure. Popper's too slow, Ballyhoo is too fast, so maybe the Rooster Ripper, which is right in between the two, will be the ticket. Beautiful. Now I got my rooster. That was beautiful. It's funny, you know, how you stick with one lure, catch a few jacks, you go to a different lure, that's not it either. I just needed something in between the popper and the belly hoo to do the trick. And I call this lure the Rooster Ripper because you just rip it right through the freaking school of mullet and it catches them. It really does. It drives them crazy. It's amazing how you can make so many casts in these feeding fish. And I was just able to catch a couple of jacks, but no roosters in. I think it was the second or the third cast with the rooster ripper, and that fish didn't, didn't hesitate, man. He just nailed it. Oh, man. It's a toad. 
this time of the year when the fish are just really, really extra large, you know, I just go up to a heavier line. Distance is really not that much of an issue anymore. You know, the fish are really close to shore feeding on those mullet. So I go up to about 50 pound and a 60 pound leader. So I can just put the brakes on them because some of these fish are 60 to 80 pounds. And you need some pulling power here. Today I'm using my uh, Cabo Surf 13, which is a heavy action surf rod. I also make it in 12 foot. That rod is a lot lighter. That's medium, medium heavy. But for fighting these big toads, I'm taking the big gun. Oh my God. <sighs> Giant rooster in Cabo San Lucas. Heck yeah. The Rooster Ripper is now available at any of our stores, as well as online at chanson.mx or cobblekiller.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.